I mash lots and I like dolphins. <laughs> Hi, my name's Gabby, and I have 12 cats. I have one that's named Luna, and Carlos, and Gunter. Hello, Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Monday, November 5th. I'm Ashlyn Walks. And I'm Liv Fanning, and here's what's going on at BHS. Mr. Bulldog 2018 through the ages will take place on Thursday, November 8th at East Middle School. Tickets are $10 and will be sold at all lunches Monday, November 5th through Thursday, November 8th. Come out to see which junior or senior will prove to have the most talent and charisma at BHS. See Mrs. Clinton or Mr. Bain for more details. There will be a history club meeting after school on Tuesday, November 6th in Ms. Crone's room. The meeting will provide updates about the San Francisco trip and discuss other upcoming events. Seniors, you are invited to a night of finances and fun. Join Brunswick DECA and attend Financial Footsteps, an event to educate you about your finances. Financial Footsteps will take place in the Senior Academy on November 14th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. See Mrs. Sablehaus to RSVP. Nate Powell, illustrator of graphic novel March, will be at BHS on Monday, November 12th. You can sign up to have lunch with Nate in the Media Center. Bring a bag lunch or grab lunch from the cafeteria. There are copies of his book available to check out from the Media Center if you'd like to read the book before meeting Nate. Stop by the Media Center between 7 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. to sign up for the event. You can also sign up to purchase a copy of his book, which he will autograph for you. Come out and support the BHS Best Buddies program by eating at Buffalo Wild Wings in Brownsburg on this Thursday, November 8th. 50% of all sales that day will go to the Best Buddies Club. This is a great opportunity to support a BHS club and enjoy some good food on a Thursday evening. You do not have to be in the Best Buddies to help support the club. The BHS National Art Honor Society is hosting a post-it note art show on Thursday, November 15th at the high school. Entries are due to Mrs. Woodcock by November 12th and there are many different categories. Anyone may enter. Cost is free, but attendees are asked to bring a non-perishable food item to be donated to the BCSC Food Pantry. See Mrs. Woodcock or an Art Society member for more info. This week is National Key Club Week. Key Club is a high school club affiliated with the local Kiwanis chapter and focusing on giving back to our community. Key Club participates in roughly 50 different service events throughout the school year and is a great opportunity for students. If you're interested in joining, they meet every Tuesday at 7.15 a.m. in the study hall room. See Mrs. Walter for more information. With November starting up, let's get with some Mr. Bulldog members and see how they think the show is going. The contestants and managers of Mr. Bulldog gave us insight on the annual BHS event. So Mr. Bulldog is a competition for junior and senior boys who have been nominated by their peers. Um, their peers think that they are funny and talented and would bring good energy and so we have a talent portion, we have a swimwear portion, and we have a formal wear portion um, where they just kind of show us what they have and um, why they'd be a good fit for to represent BHS. Competition is going to be tough this year. The only person that I'm not worried about is Deontay Ball because he just talks about it way too much. He's too excited. The best part of the show will probably be the talent, weight, swimwear, actually formal. You know what? Just be there. It's going to be a great show. I am confident in a few of the performances. I think a lot of kids are still honing their talents and really trying to uh, work out some of the final kinks about a weekend before the show, which is always a little nerve-wracking. We're by far the best com uh, competitors in this competition, and I'm pretty sure we're going to run through it this year, so I've got a Got a lot of faith in us this year. Well, Jordan, here's the deal. We're the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, we wake up in the morning, we pee excellence, and uh, nobody can hang with our stuff, you know? We're just we're, we're just a big, hairy American winning machine, because if you ain't first, you're last. Yes, I'm confident in my performance. You know, me and the guys have been working really hard, and so it's just time to, for everybody to see all of our work pay off, you know? I'd say that I'm about this confident. Yep. <laughs> Looks like everyone's pretty confident about the show. Can't wait to see it. Jordan Winter, BHS TV. Looks like it's going to be a pretty good show this year. I'm excited to be a part of it. Now it's time for sports. Hey Mason, what do you have for us today? Hey guys, a terrific season for the varsity football team came to an end on Friday night for the Dogs. The Dogs fell to Avon in a Section 7 championship with capped an incredible three-year run for the group of seniors. In the last three years, they were three-time Hoosier Crossroads Conference champions, had an undefeated regular season this year, and had a win-loss record of 26 and 6. The team also wants to say thanks to the best fans and students in Indiana. Your support was, all year was amazing. Is what makes Friday nights in Brownsburg special. They look forward to working hard in the off season and doing it again next year. The spirit coordinators want everybody to post their favorite moments from the season on Twitter and use the hashtag Zone A and tag AC Wish TV. 
Brownsburg has made the top four finalists for the Zones banner, and they want everybody to continue to show why we should win. The girls' basketball team hosts a county rival playing field on Saturday. The Dogs have four starters in double figures, led by Ali Becky with 16 points, Allison Bossy with 14 points, and Mackenzie Stein and Ronnie Roberts with 11 points each. The Dogs outscore the Quakers 24-5 in the first quarter and maintain their defensive intensity, holding them to zero field goals in the first half, and went on to win 75-40. Nice job. The JV team battled hard and came away with a 57-48 win. Kaylee Price led the team with 16 points, while Camry Leaf added 14. The ladies will host Center Grove tomorrow night in the Varsity Fieldhouse. Good luck. That's it for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Mason. That's all I've got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We will see you on Wednesday. Mr. Bulldog Award goes to...